My name is Dev and I've helped thousands of students build AI projects and land their dream offer. In this video, I'm going to explain why copying guided tutorials is a waste of time and what you should do instead. In the first half of the video, I'll go over why those guided tutorials are so harmful. And in the second half of the video, I'll go over the most important ML library to master and why it's going to help you land your dream offer. If you want to build AI projects as fast as possible without wasting any time, this is the video for you. I get it. You want to learn AI fast and guided tutorials are really comforting. I even started that way, watching tutorials, following along and copying the code. And they do have a place early on, especially when you're completely new. But the hard truth is that eventually they hurt you more than they help you. One of the students in my program followed dozens of online tutorials, but still couldn't build anything on their own. You see, tutorials feel like learning, but they actually just promote dependency. Unless you can build the project on your own and explain the entire project end to end, you haven't truly learned anything. You end up with code in your GitHub that's basically plagiarism and there's no deeper understanding. Even worse, you won't be able to explain your projects in an interview because you don't fully understand them. Again, the issue isn't the tutorials themselves, the issue is not being able to explain every line of code. If you're following a tutorial, that's okay, but you should be able to pick out any line of code from the project and explain exactly what it does. And if you're just copying the code, it's unlikely you're going to be able to explain this. Plus, there's a fact that it can take hours to set up the exact environment that whoever created the tutorial is using. And if you ever want to tweak the code, things can break immediately. The point is that guided tutorials are like training wheels. They're useful at the start, but they've got to come off eventually. So what do you do instead? What is the one skill that will change everything? At least it did for me and all of the students in my program. The answer is PyTorch. Learn it, master it, and build with it. Once I stopped copying tutorials online and started learning the ins and outs of PyTorch, everything changed. Once I had deeper projects in my portfolio, ones built with PyTorch, I started to land interviews at self-driving startups in the Bay Area and companies like Amazon, ultimately leading to 200K new grad offers. And I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was just building real projects from scratch using PyTorch. But what's the secret behind PyTorch? What makes it so special? Reason number one is that PyTorch strikes the perfect balance between abstraction, which is when all the math is covered up, and full control, which is when you have to derive every equation from scratch. We don't want either of those extremes. On one end of the spectrum, we could just import an entire model and call it with one line of code and call our project finished. On the other end of the spectrum, we could build a whole LLM in C, assembly, or binary. But PyTorch is the perfect balance. It forces you to understand just enough math, but not an excessive amount of it. You still define your model and write the training loop yourself, which actually teaches you a lot of concepts. You actually understand how the network is learning, not just calling a train function and then calling it a day. Reason number two is that PyTorch projects are often much deeper and actually impress hiring managers. When a hiring manager sees something like implemented a transformer from scratch in PyTorch, that tells them way more than a hundred handwritten digit detection tutorials will. You can talk about how you created the data set, the model architecture, how you actually trained it. All of these details are included in a PyTorch project. And most importantly, when you write code in PyTorch, you'll actually understand all of this. Reason number three is that the industry has simply moved to PyTorch. Forget TensorFlow. Meta, OpenAI, Hugging Face, most top AI teams are using PyTorch now. Don't get me wrong, TensorFlow still does exist in production, but for learning, research, experimentation, PyTorch is the way to go. Even if you want to customize or fine tune an LLM on a specific use case, you'll be using libraries that are built on top of PyTorch. Okay, one final bonus reason is that PyTorch code is actually pretty intuitive and clean. Compared to TensorFlow, PyTorch code actually reads like Python and you don't lose brain cells trying to make sense of it. You won't have to debug weird static graphs or Keras layers. Because it's clean and readable, 
you'll learn way faster, you'll build projects way faster, and ultimately you're going to land your dream offer faster. It's really a snowball effect. My final takeaway for you is to stop consuming and just start creating. Because PyTorch gives you the power to build on your own, comfortably and independently, without just watching tutorials. That's the beauty of PyTorch. Once you understand the basic modules and functions, you'll actually feel comfortable knowing that you can build almost any project on your own. So don't just blindly copy guided tutorials. Instead, learn PyTorch and start building projects from scratch. You've gotta take action soon because that's what's gonna get you noticed, that's what's gonna get you interviews, and that's what's gonna land to your sweet, sweet offer. And if you want help learning PyTorch and building these projects from scratch, Scratch, you can check out our accelerator linked in the description. We've helped thousands of students land their dream internship and job. We even have a full money back guarantee. This is a very, very unique program. And if you're looking for another video to watch, one where I actually break down the projects that you should build in PyTorch, check this one out next. You don't want to miss it and I'll see you soon.